You may have spotted a childhood memory cruising along the highway. One Valley couple made it their retirement project to put an idea into motion, one that has gotten a lot of reaction from uh, people driving down the road. Channel 2's Christine Kim got up with the couple and joins us now with a story, Christine. Mike, Fred Geller and Judy Foster say they finished this project in early August. Since then, they've been sharing their hard work by putting smiles on people's faces. And everywhere they go, you can bet someone will stop them. <laughs> that is too cool. It definitely turns heads. You made that? Yeah. All right. That's cool. Oh, my God, it's amazing. I love it. But you got to see it to believe it. Won't you ride in my little red wagon? I would love to pull you down the street. Move over, Santa Claus. You'll want to ditch her sleigh and reindeer for this ride. Uh -oh. When they see my sleigh so sweet. We just saw it, and then, and then we started yelling at our grandma to drive after it. <laughs> I haven't seen a person yet that it didn't bring a smile to their face. It started as a retirement project for Fred Geller and Judy Foster. Most everybody can relate to a uh, radio flyer wagon. They never thought this childhood memory would create this much buzz. I think the words that I hear the most often are awesome. Just awesome, <laughs> and or cool, or people go by and give us a high sign. It can be distracting. Well, I haven't gotten busted yet, so I guess I'm... <laughs> but sorry, officers, this radio flyer wagon is street legal and licensed for road use. We do have a heater in here. Here's the heater. <laughs> well, as long as weather permits. Oh, that's the horn. Right here. The base of the wagon is a 76 Mazda pickup. And these are the instruments out of the Mazda. that We just were able to bring them right over and uh, we have a full instrument panel here. That Foster inherited from her dad. We both agreed that this would be a really good use for the pickup. The, we figured my dad would be, be really grinning if he could see it now. The rest of the wagon, the wheels are made from hubcaps and detergent bottles. The steering wheel is an actual wheel from a wagon and the handle it's up eight feet in the air. How fast does this go? Well, the word is as fast as you can pull us. <laughs> that is if you can pull one four times bigger than the one you had as a kid. And we had a red uh, wagon that we pulled around, pulled each other in and things of that nature. So that in itself brings back lots of memories. It took the couple 11 months to build, but this is just a hobby for Geller who built airplanes with Dick Rutan, an aviation icon. The payoff for just a hobby may be well worth it. And I said, yeah, my wife says it's my chick magnet. Is it, is it working? <laughs> if that doesn't work, you can bet this wagon will stick out wherever it goes. How much is selling for? <laughs> can I come with you guys? <laughs> And for this couple, retirement is just another way to be young. Well, you know, it'll last for years and years and years. Using creativity to revisit one of their greatest childhood memories. You know, you have to have a sense of humor to drive something like this. Because you are my sweetheart to be. Keller and Foster entered the wagon in several car shows this summer and won best exotic class in shows in Palmer and in Sutton. Mike? Oh, not surprised about that. That's that is awesome. so cute. That's really wonderful is. to see along the highway instead of all the bad news. This is really good news. Yeah, you know what I love, too? They had the matching red driving <laughs> outfits, too, to go with the, the red wagon. Thanks, Christine. Yeah. Great story. And uh, photographer Mike Niederbrock worked with you on that, too. I want to give him a little uh, recognition. Yeah. For a great job. Nice job. Thanks. Right.